I'm Jason Taktajian with Armenian Sports News. I got a special guest with me today. We have the first Armenian drafted into the NBA G League, Gary Chevichian. Gary, how are you doing today? Doing great. Doing great. How are you, Jason? I'm good. I'm good. I can tell uh, it's a little bit dark behind you, and that's because you're on another side of the planet. Uh, if folks don't know, you recently signed with Homan Etman Beirut in Lebanon. Um, I want you to first kind of tell us, when did you get into uh, Lebanon? Like, when did you travel there? When did you uh, get settled in there? But also, when did you make that decision to sign with Homan Etman? Yeah, so um, thank you for the introduction, first and foremost. And um the answer to your question is I got here September 26th. Um, we went through about a, a, a three to four week training camp. Um, and um, we actually made the decision to come here about, you know, not too long ago, about three months ago, two months ago, pretty much right after the, the TBL season that I played. Um, we had a couple of different options on the table and we we're really trying to figure out what the correct route was. And, you know, I, I trusted my management and, 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 um, this is where we're at and I'm really excited for the opportunity. So why home in Edmund Beirut? And you mentioned you had different uh, offers on the table. What were those offers? Where were they? And why did you guys ultimately decide to go from the TBL in the United States all the way to Lebanon? Yeah, uh, man. Um, you know, obviously spending uh, the first year of my professional basketball career in the NBA G League and then going to the TBL, um, we really wanted something um, different for this year. And we wanted something that um, that really gave me the opportunity to showcase my talent and my ability on an international stage, on a big stage. And you know, Home and Netman BC here, um, it, it, what they offer is um, a great opportunity, you know, not only financially, but also having the blessing and, and the opportunity to play in front of such a big fan base, such a big organization in one of, you know, the top team, uh, top leagues in professional basketball. You know, I think the Lebanese basketball, FIBA, don't quote me on that, but it is a respected league and you have a lot of guys that come in here, a lot of, you know, high level imports that either have played in the NBA or go to the NBA. Um, and you have um, some really, really talented and, and hardworking locals here in Lebanon as well, who, you know, I've been gaining respect for since my land, uh, my land here um, uh, not too long ago. So um, you know, it, uh, this was this this was a uh, the, the right step, and I'm excited for the the opportunity. Nice. Um, and Homan Etman Beirut is historically known as a uh, Lebanese Armenian basketball institution, um, and a, has a big Armenian following. So, I mean, you've been in Lebanon for over a month. Tell me about you know kind of the reception that you've gotten from fans from the team obviously being an armenian coming to play for home and meant beirut i mean just kind of what that's been like and the fact that it is a brand new country that you haven't lived in before yeah man uh, a lot of challenges in the first three weeks that's for sure a uh, big adjustment phase to the food the water the time zones um you know just a style of play um, so it's, it's, it's been different, but the, the, the community has been great. Um, I actually couldn't, uh, believe how, you know, how enjoyable this place could really be, how, um, friendly and family oriented the, the organization is around home and MN, but also around Lebanon, you know, a lot of, um, really, really cool historical sites. Um, this is actually where my grandparents and, you know, a lot of my family is born is here in Lebanon. So um, so it's super cool to to kind of be here and where they were, you know, 60, 70, 80 years ago and um, see some of the, you know, local spots. Gives you a way to kind of reconnect with your roots, too, huh? <laughs> absolutely brother absolutely so i got a couple more questions for you just uh so we can kind of wind this down um what do you envision for yourself for this season like what are your individual goals for this upcoming season and also when's the next time we can watch you play for uh the team yes yeah, so um for this seat first of all you should be able to watch me play on the 8th 
of November. Um, it will be a game against Suggest, um, an away game, and I think that should be either on YouTube Live or um, a platform called MTV Lebanon, something along those lines. So, um, but the, the the streams are great, so you guys will be able to see it. But we're currently waiting on my nationalization as a Lebanese paperwork to finalize. Um, and it is in the very last stages, so I'm getting my identification, and um, I'll be ready to play. So, um, are you talking yeah. about citizenship? What was the other yes. Okay, so you'll become a Lebanese citizen as well. That's what you're waiting for. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Interesting. So, um, the other question I had was, what your individual goal would be for this season? Oh, yes. So. Um, it's a, you know, obviously I always have high expectations of myself. Um, but you know, I want to come into the organization and, um, really make a difference for them. So, uh, I don't want to force anything early on. I kind of want to, um, get into the flow of things and, um, just play confident and see, um, where, I could be most effective at and uh, kind of find my way through. You know, I, I'd rather say less and do more. I don't want to come up here and say, hey, I'm average 45 points. You know, um, it's a tough league. So uh, I'll be ready, though. That's awesome, man. Uh, before we wrap this up and uh, again, congratulations uh, with signing with Home and Home Amendment. I have a question that I want to ask you, um, and that's about your not just your individual club basketball career, but your national basketball career. Um, there's a lot of chatter and talks that I've heard as well as, you know, Gary Chavichin, is he ever going to play for the Armenian national team? Can that happen? Um, where are you at when it comes to that? Are we going to see you play for the Armenian national team? Are we possibly going to see you play for Lebanon? Are we going to see you play international basketball? Do we know anything right now about that? Yeah, uh, no, you know, right now, obviously, my commitment is is to the Armenian national team and, um, you know, definitely want to be there and uh, be with my guys. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm very big on Armenians and the Armenian community. My family is very involved in, in, in helping Armenians all across the world. So my heart is there. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for the opportunities that are ahead. Um, we are actively speaking with, with you know, the, the coach and um, also the organization um, to, to make something happen. And, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this thing really works out the way that it's supposed to because I should be there. And I want to be there. All righty. Thank you very much, Gary. I really appreciate you joining me uh, for this interview. And uh, best of luck for the uh, remainder of the season. And best of luck to you uh, in Lebanon. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. It's a pleasure to speak with you.